Hi guys, it's Beverly D. Okay, so I was tagged in this challenge by RGV Love. Thanks for tagging me. Um, I looked up what the challenge was uh, before watching RGV's video. Uh, I wanted to see where it all started and I realized that it was Troy Sivan's video. Um, I really liked the concept and then I watched RGV's video and a whole bunch of other videos and I thought I'm definitely going to do this. So here goes the emoji challenge. I'm going to talk about five emojis that perfectly describe me and my life. Okay, now this one not only describes me as a person, but it's also an emoji that I use a lot. Like uh, if you're with me on WhatsApp or even if you see me on Twitter, I'm constantly using this emoji because I love to laugh. Laughing is my thing. Okay, I don't know if I have any sort of actual talent, but if I did, then it would be laughing because I can do it constantly and sometimes for no reason. If it's a quiet room and someone cracks a joke, oh my God. I will bring the house down because I am a loud laugher. Sometimes if the joke is not even that funny, I'll still laugh. I mean, I don't know why I do it, but I just laugh a lot. Sometimes I don't even get the joke, but I still laugh. I'm just a weird person who likes to exercise her lungs, okay? Just leave me alone. Sometimes when my friend is about to tell me a joke, but it's so funny that she can barely speak, she's laughing so much. I don't even know what the joke is. She hasn't started speaking and I'm just laughing because she's laughing. I'm crazy. I think I should make a video about laughing. Just saying. I couldn't look this down right now. Some people confuse this emoji with awkwardness, but I really don't think that's the case because it just means that you're so happy and cheerful all the time. And that's so me. Like, I'm so positive and I love smiling and I love staying happy um, as much as I can. So this emoji is totally and completely me. Okay, now I know that we're just supposed to pick one emoji per quality, but to be honest, this one requires three. I am a professional fangirl. My Twitter bio says that I'm a professional fangirl and these three emojis perfectly describe that emotion. When I'm fangirling, there are so many different emotions that are running through my head, okay? Because first of all, I'm in love with that particular thing or that particular person. I'm crying because it is so perfect and I'm in shock because I cannot believe that it's so perfect and I'm just, just, I'm just so dramatic. So these three perfectly describe that emotion. Emotion? These three perfectly describe that emotion, which is fangirling. I mean, this one just, you know, do I really need to explain myself right now? If you don't know that I'm a foodie, you don't know me at all. I love food, okay? And I've said it millions of times, but food is my soulmate. And this emoji perfectly describes that part of me. And last but not the least, the camera. Um, there is no other emoji that could uh, represent this phase of my life, which is the phase of being a YouTuber. Everyone around me knows that I'm obsessed with YouTube, I'm so passionate about it, and I think almost every conversation during the day uh, has to have some reference to YouTube. At least, okay, at least one conversation in the day, I have to talk about YouTube because I love it so much. And I hope it doesn't like annoy people. If it does, then just deal with it because I will never stop talking about it and I will never stop doing it. So this camera perfectly describes that aspect of me. Because we can only use five emojis for this challenge, uh, this camera is also going to represent technology, uh, aka mobile phones and laptops and social media in general because I am obsessed with all of those things. I love being a part of social media and the social media, the internet world. So, yup, that is also a huge part of me. So, yup, those are my five emojis that perfectly describe my life and my personality. But before I finish, I just want to say that, um, look, I am a nice person most of the time, but sometimes people can annoy me. And sometimes I really wish that there was an emoji for the expression, can you not? And this is how I would represent that emoji. You turn your head to the left and your hand is like this because you do not want to deal with that person right now. They're so annoying. And you're just like, can you not? Okay, for example, when I'm listening to music or when I'm watching a Superwoman's video and someone interrupts me and wants to talk to me about I don't know what, it's so annoying and I just want to tell them, can you not, when I'm having my favorite food, whether it's french fries or pizza or whatever, and someone wants to take some of it, I say, okay, take it, I'm fine. I like to share sometimes, okay, sometimes. But then they'll just go on taking, okay, one by one, like one bite after another and I'm like, Okay, that's fine, no problem, one more is okay. But then they won't stop. And all I want to say to them is, can you not, when people unsubscribe or like unfollow me on Twitter and Instagram, I'm just like, can you not? Okay, I'm done now. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below which emojis represent you the best. You can also tweet me at Beverly underscore D. If you guys like this video, you know what you have to do is subscribe, comment, share, and like it. And always remember, dream big, 
be kind, stay positive and most importantly, be yourself. That's it for me now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.